Hey guys, what's up? It's Evan from Stark Music Musician, and this is sort of a weird video that I'm not sure how to film, but it's a review of the Platform Mixing Desk by Output. I just got it the other day, um, and I'm really enjoying it, and so I'm just going to hold the camera so I can sort of show you some of the features and give you my thoughts and feedback on it. So to begin with, let's start here. It's got three sets of two... Uh, three sets of three unit rack unit rack mounts. Um, right now I don't have them filled out. This is probably the most of the gear that I'll use. It's got a great placement for the monitors uh, and for the computer monitor, although it's a little, my computer monitor, so it's a little high for me, so I think I need to get an adjustable stand. Uh, then there's great cutouts here for um, wires. That's mine, I should have cleaned this up before I started filming this, but here we go. Um, <laughs> and then we've got a slide out optional tray for your keyboard. Um, got a machine over there. And the best analog mixing hack around a notebook. Although it should be on the right since I'm left handed, but whatever. Uh, that's where we are right now. I literally just got this a week or two ago, and I'm still trying to sort of figure out the best place to put everything. And then down below, there's tons and tons of room. I've got a desktop. There's some great cable management that I haven't really used. Um, <laughs> got an entire guitar amp back here. Uh, crate full of stuff. Um, so I really love this mixer. It gives me everything I need in a really quick and easy to reach and access way. Um, what I will say though, is that the height is a little awkward for it. I'm 5'8", and when I sit at it, it's sort of either I have to adjust the chair so that my feet aren't touching the ground, but my arms are up high enough to rest comfortably on the table, or I have to lower it so that my feet touch the ground, but then my arms are kind of like almost suspended uncomfortably up over my head, not over my head, but pretty high up, and it becomes a little fatiguing to sit there for long periods of time at that height. Um, I don't really know ergonomically what they could do because you'd have to have enough room for the keyboard, uh, the MIDI keyboard underneath to fit, but um, it's just a little, it was a little complicated, a little uncomfortable at times for long mixing sessions. But you can also stand at it pretty comfortably, so uh, if I'm mixing for a while, that's sometimes what I do. Uh, about delivery, it comes in a really big box, like really big, like you're gonna need a dolly to move it around. Um, so be sure to have that in mind if you pick it up, uh, just or if you get one delivered, um, and maybe your apartment's like front desk won't accept it, or maybe, you know, have, have a space for a really big box to come and have some way of moving it around because it's, I think it shipped at like 150 pounds, something like that, really heavy. Um, the other thing is it's a two-man setup job. Definitely hoisting some of the pieces into place um, required two people lifting and positioning. Um, also, highly recommended to have a drill instead of just a screwdriver, the way some of these work. This is not Ikea, so things aren't all like, you know, soft wood that's easily um, drilled into. It's not that. You definitely need to get into some of these. And the instructions were pretty good, but not, um, you had to think out some steps. Um, but in terms of comfort, um, like, the wood itself is, feels very good. Um, it feels sturdy. It sounds good. I know that sounds weird, but, like, I've definitely noticed a difference in the reflections of uh, the sound from the monitors. And I guess that must be as they bounce off the desk. Um, it's great to have all the components right where I want them to. Um, and also, it's got just a ton of storage. Um, as you can see, right now it's overflowing. I need to get some uh, organization going on here. But overall, my verdict would be that I'd highly recommend the platform by output. So thanks, and thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about it.